Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A search is on for three cars wanted in connection with a quadruple shooting on Detroit's east side. It happened last night in two different locations at Cranes Park and a housing de development in the area of Fenelon and Nevada. Police are looking for a gold colored minivan, a black SUV and a silver sedan. Anyone with information is asked to call police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. A 12 year old boy has died after being trapped inside an unattached garage that was fully engulfed in flames in Monroe County. The scene unfolded on Walnut Street in Petersburg. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Bedrock is looking to get another tax break from the city of Detroit for, to the tune of $60 million over 10 years for its Hudson site development. The city of Detroit is planning to take up the matter at its next hearing tomorrow. The cost of the project has ballooned up to $1.4 billion. A number of federal and state offices are closed today in observance of Juneteenth. This includes all Michigan courts and unemployment offices. No mail will be delivered today. Most banks as well as the New York Stock Exchange will also be closed. Hot day today in the mid 80s. Most of the clear skies though tonight, a mild night in the upper 60s. Record heat possible tomorrow. It's going to be a sunny day with a high of 96, feeling like it's 100 degrees Tuesday afternoon. 93 degrees Wednesday, a little cooler Thursday, Friday in the mid 80s. We're back to about 90 degrees through the rest of the weekend with a chance of storms Sunday.